No. No. Rockstar, just because I love your games doesn't mean I want another launcher. And what you're doing to get this launcher onto people's computers is, I would probably say, slimy. Hey, just a really quick word from this video sponsor, and it'll probably be the easiest ad read I've ever done because ever since I saw my friend Count Dankula had a Ridge wallet when we were speaking at a conference together, I wanted to get one. So I was able to get a Ridge wallet carbon fiber edition. And just to give you an example of all the junk that I thought I needed to keep in my wallet that I just didn't need. That's what you get when you use a Ridge wallet. This is the carbon fiber edition. It comes in a really nice box. It comes with a screwdriver to adjust everything. I've had everything I need in here. My driver's license, my credit cards, my IDs, all the various cards, insurance cards, things like that. There's a strap here for cash. And I'll tell you, it took maybe a day or two to kind of get used to, but I'm absolutely loving how this kind of forces me to minimize what I carry. And the thing just looks awesome too. So I brought them on as a sponsor. And if you use promo code quartering, you'll save 10% off your order. And I definitely highly recommend this product. It's not that often that I get to do an ad for something I actually use and love. And this is one of those cases. So check out Ridge Wallet, use promo code quartering to save 10%. And I guarantee you'll love it once you get used to just not having to lean to the side with a gigantic wallet in your back pocket. They have lots of different ones to choose. This is just the one that I got. Now let's get into this video. We're going to take a look at that. So Rockstar launched a game launcher. Now, I'm pretty sure that launchers in and of themselves provide a lot of benefits to large video game companies. Imagine having your store in everybody's house. But as it stands now, I've got Origin, I've got Blizzard, there's Steam, there's Ubisoft, there's GOG. Apparently for some people there's Epic. I don't want another launcher. I just want to play the game. Now, while a lot of people are speculating that this probably means that Red Dead Redemption 2 is closer to getting launched. I'm not sure how they're making that stretch, but it's being reported that way. I get it. When you have a launcher, people are more likely to purchase your other games. Every single time I want to play World of Warcraft, if I open the battle.net launcher, I see all your other games. Now, for me, I'm only going to buy a game whether or not I want it. But I understand that I'm not everybody, and everybody, all consumers act a little bit differently. But there are lots of questions with the launcher, like what kind of data is it collecting? What is it sending back to the companies? What new features are they really adding, and how will it negatively affect my computer? Because, quite honestly, there is almost no scenario where I would see having a launcher as some sort of benefit. I like to put, I have two little groupings of my th uh, launcher, or my EXEs on my desktop. Games I'm reviewing for, uh, you know, research purposes and games that I'm actively playing and enjoying. And that's it. I don't need a launcher. In fact, there are tools out there that do bring all of your games into one significant launcher, but... I'm not sure how well that works either. And on top of that, it would appear early feedback is uh, indicating that Rockstar basically Trojan horsed this launcher into Steam. Uh, I don't use Reddit very often, but uh, sometimes people send me links, and this is interesting. Rockstar Trojan horsed, this is from user Jax765. Rockstar Trojan horsed their new launcher into Steam version of GTA 5. And you can no longer play it while in offline mode. The launcher gives me an error message about having no response from Steam, whereas just a few hours ago, the offline mode was working just fine. When I was using it to boot into the game faster for mod testing purposes, thanks, Rockstar. Edit. Also, the game now takes longer to boot in general because their launcher takes their sweet time connecting. On top of that, this is a long-standing uh, issue with Rockstar and PC players. They've never really embraced the PC community and had just have, I mean, look, how long have we, have we, what are we at a year now waiting for Red Dead Redemption? Even though they're fine taking all of our money in their casinos, Rockstar 
you know, hose is PC player always. I still remember when San Andreas and my Steam library was, quote, updated, swapping out the PC release with a mobile port. Steam support claimed there was nothing they could do. Uh, I mean, this is insane. Releases games on consoles, takes sweet years for PC release to milk console, console and PC owners, right? They want you to buy it on PC and on desktop or on your console. To me, I thought I would never do that. But, you know, or at least not for some heavily discounted. Like, if I could get the PC version of RDR2 for 20 bucks, I'd probably do it. But I'm not paying full price. Forget it. Um, Max Payne 3, they're talking about ports. The game has always been a technical nightmare. San Andreas, PC Steam release isn't the, you know, it just goes on through this. There's other stuff. Just tested. There's two levels of online checking now. The launcher flat out refuses to run when blocked by my firewall because there was an offline mode that would run for a week or so before it complained. But then also an activation check when the game is already booting up now that fails when my firewall blocks GTA 5.exe. Beforehand, I had GTA 5.exe permanently blocked in my firewall and it was fine. I only play the single player mode. So they roll out a launcher that not only slows down performance, but also appears to be, I don't know, building in its own additional DRM. And it's an interesting thing because I wonder what they're sending. Now you're seeing some people talk about this. The Rockstar official release goes as follows. Um, nothing. Download now and get a bonus free copy of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for PC. No, I don't want your launcher. I don't want another launcher. Nobody wants another launcher. Rockstar Games has released a new digital launcher that nobody wanted for its games on PC. The new launcher, creatively titled Rockstar Games Launcher, is way more uh, is a way for players to buy and play Rockstar Games. It's a very bare bones at the moment, but it works mostly. The Rockstar Launcher was first spotted by numerous GTA and Red Dead fans across Twitter earlier today. It's similar to Blizzard's Battle.net Launcher with a similar layout in store. There are seven games currently for sale, though games like Manhunt, Midnight Club, and older top-down GTA titles and other classic Rockstar games are currently for sale. Users who have downloaded the launcher can get a free copy of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, I know many of my viewers don't care about numerous launchers. In the grand scheme of things, I realize it isn't a big deal. If I want the game and it forces me to use your launcher, I'm probably still buying the game. It's not at that level of, of absurdity, unless it's also run by a company that is doing other things I don't like. For example, Epic. You know, the launcher itself is an uphill battle. Every major AAA company already has that. I've already got Origin. I've got GOG. You know, I've got the Ubisoft launch or the Uplay launcher. What, you know, what? I'm just screaming at a brick wall at this point because it doesn't change anything. But nonetheless, I don't want it. I didn't want the Uplay one. I didn't want Origin. And I get that you're collecting people's data and you're, I guess, allegedly making it a little bit easier to sell stuff to your customers. So there is some convenience, but I didn't want it. Nobody wanted it. Uh, there's not much in the Rockstar Launcher yet. If you don't own San Andreas, it's worth checking out. However, getting GTA, according to GTA data miners, the version is the same as the Steam version, which is based on the mobile ports and is missing graphical touches and songs. Of course, the comments. Oh, good, because we can never have enough game launchers. Can't wait for the day I have to enter my email and password every time, several times to use my toaster. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right? It's already annoying that we have to deal with this, but I don't want any more launchers. Nobody wants them. I don't see why. Uh, well, no, I know why, because they make more money. But what at what cost? I mean, I'm not buying any more games, although I will say when I use Uplay, I saw that they had put Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I think, on sale for like 10 bucks. Bought it, never even played it. Still haven't played it. Oh, and there's a Bethesda launcher too. So what do I have now? Bethesda, you play Origin, Activision, wait, Bethesda, you play Origin, Activision, Blizzard, GOG.com. That's five at least. Maybe six or so. This is this is my seventh launcher. Great. I mean, my desktop will now consist of instead of shortcuts to games, 
shortcuts to numerous launchers that will only serve to add layers of complexness and, of course, errors. Anytime you add an intermediary between the thing I want and, and myself, I'm not going to be happy. I just want to play my games. I remember, you know, I'm a little bit older, but I don't know if you all remember this, but there actually was a time when you would just install a game on this thing called a CD. You'd have the entire game. You never needed to collect, connect to the internet ever. And then there would just be a little option. The last step of the install would say, would you like to create a desktop short shortcut for this game? And then you did it. And then that's all you had to do to play the game. I know that sounds wild, but there, there, this actually did exist in the world at one time. And things were good. Things were simple. And things had much, many fewer errors. So thanks for nothing, GTA. I hope this didn't delay releasing Red Dead Redemption 2 at all. I'm sure it did. But uh, yeah, great. I guess I'll just have another launcher. No, probably won't. I'll stick to console for Rockstar Games, I suppose. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Above, you'll find some links to watch more videos, as well as a nice big button to subscribe, which I hope you'll do. If you did enjoy it, make sure before you go that you leave a like and a comment on the video, because you are the number one reason this channel continues to grow, and I appreciate you.